Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In this video, we are going to digress massively from construction. That's right, we decided to take a last minute trip to the coast, the Washington coast, specifically Kalaylock and Ruby Beach. Since photography is my hobby, I decided, well, let's just turn this into a vlog. So I hope you enjoy, because man, I certainly enjoyed it, even though, as you can see, it is raining. All right, well, let's try it again. Low tide was about an hour ago. High tide is about five hours from now, six hours. I don't, I don't even know the math on this stuff. Is this the fourth time <laughs> on this weekend trip? But the tides, uh, low tide was here just about an hour ago. And it's still pretty high. I'm kind of, kind of a little bit bummed by that. I really wanted to get to the other side of the rocks, but hey, that's life. Still better to be outside, right? And the waves this morning are beautiful. So honestly, even if I get no pictures, I don't care. It was just nice to come out here. It was nice to be out here during the storm yesterday. All right, we're back at Ruby Beach. This is um, high tide here in about a half an hour and it's raining pretty good. I'm a little bit sheltered underneath the trees there. So actually I need to knock this down just a little bit. Take a look at the Instagram. Okay. A little farther. Okay. So the zebras are there. Okay. So I figured I might as well shoot the high tide. I'll have to I'll have to go over this maybe a little bit more. But right here, that's where like a little river coming out from behind and to my right. And now the tide is completely completely coming in and just overwhelming it. So yesterday I could walk all the way out to the big rocks. I could walk all the way out to there. But right now, that is about the only spot that is left that we could stand down there. I'll go down there with the GoPro here in a few minutes. Because I don't want to get I don't want to get the camera too wet. At least not to start. If you're at all interested, here's my camera setup. That's an FLM tripod. I bought that for Europe a couple years back. It is a Sony A7 IV and then a Sigma 24 to 70. That lens is not weather sealed, but it's also not super expensive. And I would rather get footage than baby my gear <laughs> at this point, because I haven't ruined anything yet. And then any of the handheld stuff is just with the GoPro Hero 11. This figure, I might as well just record video for now. After taking like 7,000 pictures, rapid fire. Ruby Beach is located in Olympic National Park. It is not that easy to get to. It takes us a little over three hours. Um, essentially, we'd have to drive all the way up and around Port Angeles if we wanted to take the long way, or we come down and up through Aberdeen. Anyway, because it's not that accessible, there's generally not big crowds, especially this time of the year. I had already been down to the beach once earlier this day, just after sunrise, and the day before, and since high tide was coming in and, and they were forecasting like lots of heavy rain, we ended up losing power. It was like, well, let's just go down there and watch, watch the power of the ocean come through and crash all these logs around. And there was only a few spots really that we could stand on the beach. And it turns out in classic Washingtonian fashion, there ended up being like four or five of us here. You know, I figure if I'm gonna work in the rain, I might as well play in the rain. And even though it would have been nice if there was some bright puffy clouds and blue sky, still, even a wet stormy day is pretty awesome to be down here at the beach. I mean, who doesn't love that sound? I don't know, it's just a good day. I forget how many inches of rain we were supposed to get, plus high tide, so those logs, they were moving. But here's what we're looking at today. Obviously, it's pretty hard to see with the GoPro. Um, <laughs> so maybe I'll just cut off the video and then we'll head down there. Yeah. So I think I'll go this way this time. Well, assuming I can get through, just because it's different and it's beautiful. 
From the trail, there's a couple of ways to the beach. One, you could have just gone straight and meandered out. Two is to climb over the logs here. This is that little river I was telling you about. It comes out of the hills behind us and to the right, and it flows right into the ocean. This was in almost entirely flooded the day before, as you can see in some of the footage. So it definitely couldn't have gone this route, but figured, ah, let's do it. In fact, there was a log across the river the previous day, or two days previous. I wanted to walk across it, but nope, I didn't have the nerve. I just really don't want to fall. So I'm going to, I'm going to unplug and go two hands. So what I was really hoping to do was get around the front of those rocks. But that ain't happening. And even if, even if I did, I don't think I could stay over there for very long. You can see how far this is coming up. I'll get a picture of this rock behind me. It looks like a gorilla. Can't see it from here, but when I get around the other side. Okay, so maybe I can get across. I'll just have to be really careful. Well, actually, this is gonna be pretty easy here. Here, let me, let me show you what I'm about to jump across. Yeah, see? So I'll have to keep my eye on that. If I had brought my big boots. Yeah, see, rats. I want to get over to that side. But maybe, maybe I'll just set up right here. That's kind of cool. Or maybe I'll set up over here. Oh yeah. So, let's see. Maybe right here's the spot to set up. I bet I'm gonna get wet. Also, right through that hole, I might very well get splashed. I don't know. Yeah, that's a big wave. Oh yeah. So maybe this isn't the best spot to stand. Might be kind of cool though, to get the water receding. Okay, well I'm gonna set up. And I think what I'll do is just set the camera up. Yeah, I don't think I have that much time. I finally have a good camera bag designed for my tripod. It's got the waist belt, the compartments inside are pretty awesome. Maybe I'll do a video on that down in the, in the future. But this is the Shimoda Explorer version 2 30 liter. I didn't want to get anything too big. I can stow it under a seat on an airplane. Primarily, I got this because I'm going to World of Concrete here in just a couple of weeks, and I need a place to carry all of my gear safely. So anyway, now, as the professor of stupidity, I am qualified to teach said subject. Like an idiot, I didn't press the button on my microphone. So all of this audio is from the GoPro, which does pretty well. However, I did talk to myself quite a bit, thinking that I was talking to a camera. So classic Timmy, classic, classic, classic. You would be surprised at how much footage I have not shot by virtue of not hitting the start button. But anyway, hey, the rain just started. It poured. Hey, it's really raining. I wasn't too worried about this camera, the GoPro that's filming this. I wasn't too worried about it getting wet because it's a waterproof camera. I've got it on a little tripod that's also an extended battery. But I don't want my nice Sony and Sigma lens to get too wet. And so in the future, like an idiot, and I have these at home, I have a rain cover for it. <laughs> so I also have a rain cover for the backpack, but I left that back in the cabin. That's okay. 
None of the gear got harmed in the making of this vlog. That red jacket is a black diamond raincoat that I bought specifically for Iceland a couple of years back, and man, I do I love it. I thought about wearing it on the job site, but it's just not rugged enough for that. But it looks really cool in monochrome video or, or footage to have a red coat. Anyway. So there's a whole lot of standing around and waiting on the ocean. Because what I really wanted was the waves to get far enough back, ideally to my tripod. There's a bunch of foam there, you can see, sea foam. And I wanted to get like, uh, drag the shutter a little bit so that I could get it receding. Anyway, I'm just showing you some footage. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you the images that I got, climb around. Again, if I had my tall rubber boots, I would have just waited right th out there in the water. But I also forgot those. They were probably right next to my rain covers. Hey, good morning from Ruby Beach again. I am in a spot where I might get really wet. So let me show you. Yeah. And also here, look at this. We'll see if a wave comes through while I've got the phone out. I mean, it's, yeah. We were low tide here just about an hour ago. Yeah, there we go. Might be wondering why am I not photographing that? Here it comes. Oh yeah, Timmy might be getting wet. Might be getting wet. <laughs> Look at all that foam. Oh man. Look at all that foam. Okay. It just was pouring on me just a moment ago. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Look at this. My T3s from True Work are keeping me dry and my Danner boots. Okay, it's time to shoot. So a lot of this is just trying to move around and find a spot that's decent and also keeping my eye on my escape route in case the water does get too high. I wasn't too worried about that because at high tide, this area wasn't gonna get completely inundated so badly that I couldn't get out. But even so, as, yeah, there, see, there's a nice wave. Even so, you gotta keep your eye on it, right? If for nothing else, you don't wanna wreck your camera gear, you know, the same camera gear that you might've forgotten to actually turn on. One thing that's really nice about this GoPro Hero 11 is it's brand new, right? It's only been out for a couple months at this point, and it's got what's called Hyperview now. Since so many of us, we record for YouTube, which is a 16 by nine format, but then TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, that's all a nine by 16. So it's got a larger, it's got an eight by seven sensor on it so that you can crop in and keep your nine by 16. And it records 10 bit color, color's pretty good. I'm actually zoomed in a fair amount here there was one small rock <laughs> that was relatively close. If I do this again in the future, I'm just gonna bring another tripod. Okay, spot number two, I don't mind saying I am soaked from the, it's gotten, my, my pants are dry. Nice job, True Work. 
but it's gone up and over my boots. Here we go. I'm shooting at 0.4 seconds. I was shooting at a half a second a minute ago. Yeah. Nah. Oh man, this is awesome. Okay. I was shooting over there a minute ago. But I really like this spot with all the rocks. And I turned off my screen somehow. So I'll have to show that to you later. Not too bad, just up and over the ankles. You notice it kind of came around from the left and it got almost to the GoPro on the rock. And it ain't done with me yet. Just about got the GoPro. I thought I was filming a story at the same time. You guessed it. I was not. This is so great. Righteous. Okay, it's time to get out of here because this little spot here is starting to get a little deeper. So maybe I'll, I'll head down there. Yes, yes. Okay, yeah, actually, we really need to go. Oh, did I not record that? Was dumb. <laughs> I wasn't recording. Okay. Time to head head back across. Oh yeah, I am just squishy. I wish I would have brought my bigger boots, but that probably wouldn't have helped either. Two other people showed up, but they were smart enough to get get above the water. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, it's beautiful down here. Turn this guy off. All right, so this is the last spot. I had walked past it earlier. I liked those two rocks. I really liked how the water comes in, kind of swirls around it. And then of course the sea stacks off and to the right. We're, we're I mean, quite photogenic, right? So now this time I put on my Sony 14 millimeter because I was gonna get right up next to those rocks. In fact, I shot a ton of images realizing that my tripod leg was in the images. <laughs> Just, you know, I'm just there to have fun. I'm not a professional photographer. I paid a lot of money for the gear. It's just all about having fun. I feel like there's still too much dead space, but I'll crop that out maybe. I don't know if I want to tilt down any farther really exaggerate this thing. Why not? Come on. There we go. Oh, I like that. Come on, come on, come on. Go around the rocks, go around the rocks. Giddy up. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. That's okay. Righteous. Oh, I like that. Look at that fog in the background. go Maybe a little faster. Here we go. Yeah, faster is better. Here we go. Oh yeah. I'm going to run out of card here. Okay, I think I got what I want there. 
Nope, that's not my tripod leg. <laughs> okay. And that was rookie move. Oh, yes. And I'm out of memory. <laughs> oh, cripes. Why can't I go into space? One really annoying thing about Sony is the menu system. And even though I had found it the previous couple days, I should have just completely emptied and wiped my card, but I didn't. Oh, good lord. Gosh. <laughs> come on, come on. I want to get the swirls. Well, it is definitely not a level composition. That is for sure. Yeah, one tenth of a second. Hey, I'm level again. Wow. Okay, so this is what I've been shooting. And oh yeah, I am about to get soaked again. <laughs> I love it. Not done with me yet. I'm uh, I'm just about done here. Here's what I'm here's what I'm shooting. I'm trying to get all the foam as it comes around. You can kind of see it there. What a beautiful spot. What a beautiful spot. I mean, look at this. Look at this. I could not be happier being out here this morning. I don't even know what time it is. It's like nine something. Ten o'clock. I'm just about done. I've maxed out the one card. Actually, from the salt water yesterday, this little tool's already got rust on it. I gotta go clean my gear. Okay, here we go. We're about to get wet. Oh yeah. Holy cow. Whoa! Yes! Yes! Oh, over my knees! Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Debbie's getting out of here. My coffee's cold, so. Oh, man, what a day. This is supposed to be pouring rain. It was pouring rain earlier. Right on, right on. Or right arm, as we used to say in elementary school. Right arm, let's see here. I mean, look at this place. Look at this place. My Shimoda bag. The GoPro's been filming this whole time. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we're heading home tomorrow. This was this was good. I have about 7,000 pictures. 7,000 pictures to edit. Well, no, I just gotta cycle through, figure out which ones I like the best. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Okay, well that was completely worth it. I'm sure that I got at least one or two shots that I really like. I think I think I got more than that. And I don't care if I didn't. I just got to spend the morning out here. Oh my goodness. Yep, so that's how I was standing right there. It is time to go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, what a great day. Now I gotta pick my way through here without falling. And I probably picked 
the entirely wrong way to go. What a cool place. So yesterday we got to see it, just these logs moving around, not right where I'm standing. That was safe enough, but over my left shoulder. Very cool. And then you come back here today, totally different. Almost had the beach to myself. Okay. Now oh, one last look, right? <clears throat> Washington coast. So we're at Ruby Beach, a little north of Claylock, a little south of Forks, if you're a Twilight fan. Kind of hard to get here, you know, it's like a three hour trip, no matter which direction you go, up and around or up and over. Not really any self service here. There's one spot down by Queets. So that's where I'm going to drive because I want to get a bunch of this, a bunch of these stories uploaded. I'm pretty pumped. Oh man, this was good. This was good. Found the button to turn it off. Nope. <laughs>